tutorial I'll be showing you how to use uh, After Effects uh, preset engine. Um, so again, you just want to make sure you have a solid. And it doesn't really matter what color it is. And I'm going to go to animation and choose browse presets. So there's based on um, some of the techniques that I've shown you already, um, such as fractal noise, uh, you can take those uh, using that same exact technique. After Effects um, provides us with some background using those same exact techniques. So I'm going to just choose this one, surf circuit one, and double click it. And it applies it to the solid that I have added. And as you can see, um, actually, let me redo this one again. Make sure your time indicator is in the beginning of your file. That was what I didn't do. So you just go browse presets. So the first grouping is um, just applying some kind of a background. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe choose the same one. And as I play it, you can see that there's an animation happening here. And I'm going to stop this and go to the actual layer and show you what's going on here. So in under effect, you can see that I have a fractal noise. That's that same exact technique I showed you about a few weeks ago. I also have a find edges option, which if you open it up, you know, if I click invert, um, you can change, yeah, so that happens if you invert it, but it looks better as it is. And of course we have um, the color. So I can go back and change this color to whatever other color I want to change it to. I can also um, open up my fractal setting option <clears throat> and manipulate some of those settings. So um, you can make it more complex or less complex. You see that it sort of changes, uh, changes it and you can change the brightness value and so on. So this is um, kind of really fun if you want to um, sort of have some kind of an um, effect that is more complex. Um, and let's see here, what else do I want to show? So that's one. I'm going to make a new layer. Um, and now I'll show you another one. So um, I mentioned those presets. So you can, so this one you don't really need to deal with. So I'm going to just talk about three of these. And you can take your time and look, explore the other options because there are a lot of them. Um, so on this one, I'm going to choose the text. So I recommend not using the 3D text, but um, let's say if you choose um, blur, you'll see that automatically if you or evaporate if I double click this it takes a while if your computer is a little slower let me actually put some text in here um and um if your computer you know you need to have a strong processor for these so if you have a very slow computer, you probably don't want to be exploring these options. So browse presets. This time I'm going to do um, text. Yeah, we will try with blur. But if you look at these, I mean, you can see that there's a lot of different options. And you could see the preview uh, right here. So let's just do this one. Now if I play this, you'll see, oops. It didn't like that particular effect, so let's try another one. Some of them, it's just not, you know, it's just going to give you an error message. So, let's try the blur again. It will be foggy.
there we go. So, um, so automatically, basically, it, it's kind of the, the, the animation is already set. Uh, and you can, like I said, you can go back into the settings and manipulate them further if you wish. Um, and so, okay, so let's do another one. I just want to make this a little darker. So that would be the text, and you have a lot of different um, options. You know, if you want the animation to move faster, you want to kind of move this closer. All these text animations are based on um, the text engine tool that I showed you earlier in the semester. And then let's look at the last one. Um, so this one, I'm going to show you um, the shape layer options. And again, I'm going to make sure that this is at the beginning of my timeline and make sure that I was getting the error messages because uh, this I needed to stretch this all the way to the end. So make sure if, it's, if you're getting similar error messages, it's because just double check this section. So this one, I'm going to, again, go back to the animation, browse presets, and click my shape. And um, there are kind of like some really fun ones. Um, let's see here. So this is one, I'm gonna go back. This is the background, and again, this is based on the shape layer there. So if I double click this, you see that now when I play this, you'll get this really cool effect. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, so I'm going to do one more because I'm going to incorporate the 3D Cinema 4D that I showed you um, in the previous video tutorial. So I'll do a shape layer. I should have been um, make this black and much darker. Okay, so make sure I will go to the beginning of your timeline and I'm going to go to browse presets, going to go to shapes, and I'm going to double click this option. And again, there are some really fun ones. So this is kind of nice. So let's do this one. It's, it, like I said, if your system is slow, you want to sort of, you don't need to incorporate any of these. Let me make another one here. Let's choose this one. All right. So make sure you're in the beginning of your keyframe. So it has to be, like the shape only works on shape layers. It doesn't work on a regular layer. Just keep that in mind. I'm going to do maybe this one. Now you can see that it kind of animates. And if you open up the options, um, you can kind of see what all the different Form of animation that's happening um, that's incorporated in this. Go back here, let me just do another one. Let me 
just tell me there are zero elements. Let's do this because it's this way. Let's do this one. So that's kind of nice, right? So I'm going to press the I to go to the beginning of my timeline. Now, I'm going to make it a 3D. And and make sure, let's see here. Under the transform, under the geometrical option. So you just want to open all those options up. And the render is already set to Cinema 4D because I changed it. I've changed it before, but if if it's not, you want to make sure to click click it because by default it's set to classic 3D. You want to make sure you change it to Cinema 4D. I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna just add some extrusion and maybe add some depth. And you can't really see anything like this. And you know what? I'm gonna change the color to like some other color. And I'm going to add a new light. And now, uh, I'm going to actually take this. You can see that this is completely in 3D environment. I'm gonna change the, the color of my um, solid. Let's see if you can see it better. So now, as I play this, you could see that it's completely in 3D environment. So this is how you can choose some of the, um, you know, more complex um, uh, tools and uh, preset options in After Effects and add like a 3D component to them. Like this. So rendering a little slow just because every time you have you're doing a 3D um, element, every time you're creating a 3D element, uh, you, your graphic cards work extra hard. So if, again, if you don't, I'm not requiring you to do any of these for your projects, but uh, I just want you to be aware of them. And like I said um, in the previous tutorial. The, some of the more advanced techniques in lighting and cameras and Cinema 4D engine will be covered in the RP46, which is the advanced class.